Hi everyone, welcome to class. My name is Alessandra Oram and today is your Tuesday live session, uh, yoga session with me on uh, Oisho. Uh, so welcome to my yoga studio. I'm here in Barcelona, Spain. And every Tuesday I share with you a vin my vinyasa practice. So today I really want to work on a nice uh, grounding flow. So we're gonna be staying quite low to the ground today. We're gonna have a few balances on the legs, but I always like to give a full body workout. Um, but today's main focus is going to stretch the hamstrings. So I want you to come onto your mat and hopefully you have your blocks ready um, because you might need to use them later. So we're actually gonna start on all fours in a tabletop position at the center of your mat. So when you me measure tabletop, you're already giving yourself um, a sense of awareness of your body measurement because you're placing your hands at your shoulder width apart, bringing awareness to your shoulder width and the alignment of your wrists Bring awareness as well to your fingertips. Try and open up your fingers as wide as possible. Create a stretch and create that activation in the palm by pushing down your knuckles and clawing the floor with your fingertips. Now gently look back. Make sure your knees are not too wide. I'm gonna walk my knees in and bring them hips width apart or sitting bones width apart would be a better description. And then from there, I want you to tuck your toes and even stretch the toes of your feet by really tucking them and pushing them down underneath the heels. You're now at the perfect measurement to start moving into downward facing dog. But from there, I want you to lift your tailbone, lift your chin and chest, and pull your heart forward. On the exhale, I want you to round, push the floor, tuck the tailbone in. As you round your heart, look at your navel. Again, inhale, lift the tailbone, pull the chin and chest forward and up. Exhale to round your spine, push the floor and empty the breath. Last one, inhale, lift the tailbone, pull the floor behind you as you push your chest forward and up. Exhale to round, well done. Inhale, come back into your cow pose. This time, lift your knees and see if you can gently push fluidly into a downward facing dog. From there, can you fluidly lift your heels? Keep leaning your shoulders forward and notice how you're rounding your heart to come into a high plank. Then exhale, bend your knees, keep them off the floor, lift the tailbone and push back your back and downward facing dog. So just doing that flow that we did requires a lot of strength in your palms and your hands and forearm strength. So the wider your fingers, the better you're going to move. Let's see if we can do this three times. Inhale, lift your heels high, round your shoulders forward. And then exhale, bend your knees without touching the floor, lift the hips and push into downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the heels round your spine as they lean forward. And exhale, bend the knees, lift the hips into down dog. Again, inhale, lift the heels, round the chest forward. And exhale, bend the knees, lift the hips into downward facing dog, well done. We look forward and the inhale, we walk our feet behind each wrist. And on the exhale, I want you to grab your elbows, maybe give a micro bend in the knees 
until your chest and ribs gently kiss the thighs. We want to elongate the spine, finding length, being very gentle with ourselves. And just letting go, exhale the day and let your head hang. Take notice of pressure building up in your forehead, blood rushing down as we invert the body. Perhaps it feels good to just pulse up and down like a yo-yo or sway from side to side. Feel light. Feel that you're letting go, not holding on to any tensions, just letting the spine sway from the hips. Let's breathe and hang here. One more long breath, inhale. Stay in the center, exhale, touch the fingertips to the floor. Inhale, look forward. You're going to heel toe your feet back together. Maybe just walk a little bit more forward. And on the exhale, bring your hands on hips, maybe micro bend the knees. As I hold onto the hips, I want you to also push the hips back and lengthen the crown forward. Lift the tailbone, lengthen the spine as you slowly come up. Inhale, stand up by squeezing the glutes. Tuck the tailbone down and lift the arms up. Exhale, hands in a prayer in front of your heart center. Inhale, stretch your arms forward. And exhale, align them underneath your shoulders. So just stay here, focus your gaze in front of your nose. Open your chest by closing the shoulder blades. Without letting the ribs to fan open, I want you to close the ribs, but keep the shoulder blades pulling back. Stay here, stretching the elbows, two more. Exhale, really pulling the fingers down to the floor. Last one here, breathe. On the exhale, let's begin the first round of this vinyasa. I'll take you through, inhale, reach your arms up, shoulder width, and lift the heels. On the exhale, keep the heels lifted, palms facing the floor, bring your arms parallel and start to bend your knees. We slowly sit towards the heels, and then exhale, sit towards the ground, rounding your spine. Keep your arms forward, hollow the belly, and as you extend the legs, bring your lower back down and reach your arms by the sides. Stay here now, three breaths. Exhale. Two, inhale. Exhale. Three, inhale, well done. On the exhale, lie down and lift the legs. Hold the legs at 90 and reach your arms up. And on the exhale, let's see if you can roll the legs back. Stay on your lower, uh, your upper back and your back of the neck is long. Stay here, flex the feet and keep the hips on top of the shoulders. Two more, rolling your chest towards the chin Exhale, try and avoid looking at the camera. Focus your eyes between your thighs. One more, inhale. And on the exhale, I want you to stay rounded. Roll down to stand on your feet, come up. Inhale, lengthen to flat back, well done. And exhale, we place our fingertips flat on the floor. Inhale, we're going to extend the right leg back and up. Exhale, bend the left knee and take a huge step back. Inhale, bend the right knee to the floor, untuck the toes and tuck your tailbone as you tuck it, push the energy down towards the left heel. Option one, place your hand on the knee. You don't have to sink your hips too much. I want you to avoid dropping the chest. Really focus on tucking the tailbone before you sit. So option one, staying here with the hands. Option two, you can reach the arms up. 
And option three, if you wish, you can start to arch back. Be careful not to go too heavy or too deep. We're still warming up. So maybe this first round, you prefer to stay in option one. Let's hold it together, three more, inhale. Lifting the chest, exhale. Two, inhale. Really stretching that upper right thigh. Three, inhale. On the exhale, look down and place your hands either side of your foot. Inhale, you're going to flex that left heel Push it into the ground, and as you do so, slide your hands back until your hip aligns on top of the right knee. Inhale. If this is too much, grab two blocks. Place each block underneath the hands at any level so you can really lengthen the spine. Inhale. Flat back for any level. And if you want more, simply lower the block. And if you still want more, bend your elbows. Stay there now, six breaths. Just gaining flexibility. Two, keep the hips on top of the right knee. Be aware of your alignment. Keep trying to align yourself. Three, by pulling the left hip back, right hip forward. Exhale. Four, inhale. Keep that left foot flexed, curling the toes. Exhale towards your face. Five, inhale, keep lengthening through the ribs towards the knee. Exhale, the left knee. Last one, inhale. On the exhale, you're going to place your hands in front of you, and if you have blocks, move them out of the way. Inhale, tuck your right toes and lift your right thigh off the floor. Can you lengthen here? If this is too much, feel free to bend the left knee. From there, you take a small step in with the right foot and slide the left leg back and up. Inhale, open the hip, and then exhale, bend the knee, dropping the foot and heel towards your glute. Feel free to twist here, opening your chest to the left side and really trying to point your left knee up high. So if you feel your knee is towards the side, feel free to maybe draw some circles, trying to add some motion to gain that flexibility. If you want to join me, join me in the circles, or stay wherever you are, feeling that deep stretch. Three, inhale, last one. And on the exhale, look between your feet as your left foot comes down in line with the right. Inhale, look forward. We're going to jump forward or walk forward, up to you. And if you jump, try to float. Inhale, jump. And exhale, fold. Inhale, come into your flat back on fingertips, this time lengthening your left leg back and up. Exhale, bend the right knee slowly as you step your left foot back. Inhale, bend your left knee down to the ground, untuck the left toes, and exhale, tuck your tailbone, placing both hands in this first variation on the knee. So if you stayed here with your hands resting on the thigh, the other side, I invite you to repeat the same. We hold it for six whole breaths. And if you raised your arms up and you stay, stayed there, make sure you do the same on the, this side. Third breath, inhale. Really tucking in the tailbone. Fourth, feeling the stretch on the upper left thigh. Exhale. See if you can puff your chest up towards the chin, closing the shoulder blades. Exhale. Sixth, last one. And on the exhale, look down and place your hands either side of your right foot. Inhale, really push through your right heel as you flex the foot. And exhale, slide your hands back as you align your hip over the left knee. Inhale, lengthen. Remember, adjust your hands onto any level of the block or stay on the floor if you feel flex the 
space to really drop your hands down. Remember, we're trying to remove any curve in the lower back. We want to lengthen, feel the stretch. Third breath, inhale. And if you want to get lower as you breathe, you can. You should know your own limits. Exhale. See how far you can go. Five, inhale. No need to copy everything I'm doing. Use your own awareness of the body to find how deep you can go with your body. Sixth, last one. So good. And on the exhale, I want you to release, lifting the torso, moving the blocks if you use them, and really stretching your arms forward away from the foot. Inhale, tuck your left toes and lift the left knee off the floor. Really stretch the thigh back. And now exhale, place your hands down flat on the floor, taking a small step in. Inhale, slide your right leg back and up, sweeping it up into the air. Open the hip. Exhale, you can twist your chest, feel free, and bend your right knee, dropping the heel towards the glute. In order to have a really good opening, you need to squeeze your left glute. By squeezing your left glute, you can feel a rotation and a lift of the right knee. If you want to, if you feel blocked and you want to open up the hip, feel free to rotate from the hip, pointing the knee up, back, down, and around. If you want to do the circular motion, join me for two more. Push the floor with your hands. Exhale. Nice and slowly. There's no rush. Three. Inhale. Breathe. Open. Lengthen. And exhale. Place the foot down parallel with the left. Look forward. Get ready to jump. Inhale. Walk or jump. Try to float. Exhale, fall forward and stretch. Stand up, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands in a prayer at your heart. Stay there, inhale, lengthen the arms. Exhale, place your hands by your hips. Breathe, inhale. Exhale. Two, inhale. Breathe with me. Exhale, nice and long. Let's expand the capacity of the lungs. Stretch it. Exhale. So good. Let's continue. Inhale, repeat. Reach your arms up and lift your heel. Stand on your toes. Stay on your toes. Find balance as you bend the knees to sit towards your heels and then round your spine to sit towards the floor. Inhale, keep your arms extending forward, hollow your back, placing the lower back down. Exhale, stretch the legs, and as you place the lower back, keep your shoulder blades off the floor. We stay here, three. Exhale. Two, working your core, push. Exhale. Three, last one. And exhale, lie down with your shoulders and lift your feet vertically up into the air. Inhale, reach your arms back. Keep your neck long by tucking your chin towards the throat. And then exhale, roll back into hala. Stay here again, three breaths. Exhale. Two, don't worry if your feet don't touch the floor. You're still getting all the benefits of the stretch. Three, inhale, try and straighten your knees. And on the exhale, change your feet into a point. Inhale, round your spine lower and roll to stand up. Exhale, forward fold. Come into flat back and lengthen the right leg back. Exhale, bend the left knee and step back. Inhale, place the right knee, untuck the toes and reach your arms up. Exhale, with arms up, tuck the tailbone and begin to arch back. Let's hold this now, three breaths. 
exhale. Two. Exhale. Really tucking the tailbone, lifting the ribs. And on the exhale, place your hands underneath the shoulders, either side of the foot. Inhale, flex your left foot, pushing down with the left heel. And exhale, fall forward or stay in flat back. Inhale, stay here, three breaths. Maybe this time you can go a little bit deeper. Two, inhale, really curling those left toes towards your face. Exhale. Three, inhale. And on the exhale, look forward and extend your arms forward. Inhale, tuck your right toes and lift and press the right thigh back. Step forward. Exhale, slide your left leg back and up. Bend the knee and open the hip. Okay, so we're familiar with this feeling. I want you to stay here with a bent knee. Option one, you can stay. Option two, follow me by lifting your right heel and then turning your heel 90 degrees and dropping it to the side. And as you do so, bring more weight into your right hand and then slowly step your left foot behind you on the floor. From there, you need to turn your hips, keep your right leg straight, Try and turn your hips to face up towards the ceiling and then follow your left hand as it drops back down to the floor. Lift the chest, push down with your right hand and hold. Can you hold it for three? Exhale. Two, really find lift. Exhale. Three, now keep looking at your left hand Point it down towards the floor by twisting back to the center, but slowly sit your hip behind your right hand. Keep drawing a circle with your left hand. Press your left foot down, and as you square your hips, hold and hug your right knee with your right fingers. Inhale, push down with your left fingertips to lift your right side of the chest. And now twist even more by hugging with your hand and pressing your right ribs on the inner left thigh. Good. Stay here. Option one. Option two, place your elbow to the outside of the knee and keep twisting. If you are in option two, maybe you can release the left hand and bring your hand in a prayer in front of your heart center. Keep your right foot flexed, looking back and past your left shoulder. We have to hold for three more in any variation. Exhale, stay with your breath, it's tough. Four. Exhale. Five, until six. Exhale. Six. And exhale, we release, turning back to face the front. From here, I want you to lengthen by lifting up your left arm. And then exhale, open the left knee, and then drop your shoulder below the knee and place your hands in line with your left foot. Good. So from here, I'm in a deep compression, and my tricep is really wrapping and pushing against my shin as I come down. So option one, try your best to find this deep compression and to place your hands down. If you've made it with your hands down, start to look forward, crunch the belly, and try and lift up and stay. Three breaths, maybe point both, maybe the right foot only. <laughs> exhale. Two. Exhale. Three. And exhale. If you lifted, sit back down. Let's grab our left foot with both hands, either side, and square the hips, placing the thigh in front of your chest. From there, I want you to point both toes and stretch your left leg as much as you can. If you have a bent knee, don't worry. With time, you're gonna get there. And if you can straighten, well done. If you have a straight leg, try and lift the chest to deepen the stretch. And if you want more, just bend your elbows and really squeeze the abdomen against the thigh. 
hold it, three breaths. Exhale, two. Exhale, three. Exhale, well done, release. Placing the left foot in a cross on top of the right. Swing your right arm back to the front, placing your right hand down. And now you're going to gently roll onto your hips, placing your left hand and just slinking down, coming into a gentle cobra. Inhale, lifting the chest. And then exhale, come down vertebra by vertebra until your chest meets the ground. From there, tuck your toes. I want you to push your, and walk your chest forward until the base of your ribs are in line with your wrists. Good. Inhale, push down with the tops of the toes and now lift up into upward facing dog. Exhale, push back into downward facing dog. Hang your head. Stay there for three breaths. Exhale. Two. Exhale. Three. On the exhale, get ready to jump forward or walk forward or float. Inhale, jump. And exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back, lengthen the left leg back. Exhale, bend the right knee and step the foot and bend your left knee to the ground. Untuck the toes. Inhale, as you tuck the tailbone in, reach both arms up. And exhale, start to arch back very gently and carefully. Three breaths here. Exhale. Two. Exhale. Three. Exhale, place your hands either side of the foot. Really dig your right heel into the ground. Inhale, flex your right foot, slide the hands back, lengthen. Or exhale, fold. And another three breaths. One, inhale. Exhale. Two. Exhale. Three. On the exhale, extend your arms forward, left toes tuck, inhale, press your left thigh back, both legs straight, and exhale, small step in to slide your right leg back and up, bend the knee, open the hip. Option one, you can stay here. Option two, lift the left heel, turn it 90 degrees, and drop your left heel down. Gently place all the weight, inhale, into your left hand, and then exhale, spin and drop your right foot to the ground. Inhale, keep spinning by turning your hips up towards the ceiling, reach the right arm up, and exhale as you drop your right arm back, follow with your gaze at the fingertips, stay. Hold it, three breaths. Exhale, two, inhale, exhale, three, inhale, Exhale, look down at your left hand, point towards the floor with your right fingertips, and now sweep your arm to draw a big circle with the right hand as you sit, squaring the hips. Keep turning. Inhale, hug your left outer thigh, push down with your right fingertips to lift up. And exhale, keep hugging, twisting, and really pulling your left ribs on the inner right thigh. Option one, stay here. Option two, twist deeper with your elbow to the outside of the knee. If you're in option two, bring your hands into a prayer at your heart center, really pushing to twist. Now we stay here. Three more. Exhale. We're on the fourth breath, in. We try and do a total of six each side. Exhale. Fifth breath. Inhale. Exhale. Sixth, last one. 
And on the exhale, you release and come back to face your left foot. Inhale, reach your right arm up and find length. Really lift up. And exhale, lean forward to crunch the belly and then press your tricep against the shin to place your hands down in line with the foot. From there, you can stay, option one. Option two, you crunch the belly and straighten the arms to lift up. Hold, three breaths. Maybe you point your left toes, exhale. Two, exhale. Three, on the exhale, slowly sit down and catch your right foot. Inhale, square the hips, pressing the thigh against your chest, lift your heart. Option one, stay. Option two, point both toes and start to straighten the right knee as much as you can. If you manage to have the leg straight, see if you can bend the elbows up and pull the shin towards your nose. Now we stay for six breaths. Really squeezing the abdomen against the thigh. Two, inhale. Exhale. Three, inhale. Exhale. Four, inhale. Exhale. Five, inhale. Exhale. Six, inhale. Good, and the exhale, cross your right heel over the left shin. Inhale, spin your left hand to face the front. And exhale, as you place your right hand shoulder width apart, really turn and slink yourself down into cobra. Inhale, pulling your chin and chest forward, micro bending your elbows. Exhale, come down vertebra by vertebra, gentle until your chest meets the floor. From there, tuck your toes. Remember, we want to push forward to get our ba the base of the ribs in line with our wrists. Inhale, walk forward. Exhale, pushing the back of the toes. Inhale, come up into upward facing dog and push. Exhale, downward facing dog, so good. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale, hang your head. Two, inhale. Exhale. Three, inhale. Exhale, look forward. Get ready to jump, inhale, float and exhale, fold. Come up, stand up, inhale. Join the palms together to touch. Exhale, hands in prayer at your chest. Inhale, straighten your arms forward. And exhale, hands down in Samastiti. Three breaths, inhale. Recover. Exhale, really lock your elbows straight. Two, inhale, exhale, three, inhale. Are you ready to repeat the flow? And I'm going to add a little bit more. <laughs> this time we're going to go much more fluidly and we're not going to hold on to any poses too long. Let's start. Inhale, reach your arms up and lift the heels. Stand on your tippy toes. Exhale, bring your arms parallel to the ground, bend the knees and sit towards the heels and then towards the ground. Inhale, lift the feet, extend the leg and then hollow the belly. Exhale, bring your lower back back down. Inhale, lie down, bring your legs up, tuck your chin down to the floor and exhale, roll back into hala, flexing the feet. Inhale, arms back, stay there. And then exhale, roll forward to stand back up. Inhale, lengthen, reach the right leg back and up. Exhale, bend the left knee to take a big step back onto the right toes, drop the knee down. 
Inhale, as you untuck the right toes, lift your arms up and maybe arch back. Exhale, hands down and flex your left foot to stretch. Inhale, lengthen into flat back. Optional, exhale to fold. Look forward, inhale, extend your arms past the foot, flex your right toes. And exhale, small step in and slide your left leg back and up, bend the knee, open the hip. Inhale, point your knee higher, lift your right heel and spin the heel, exhale. As you drop the heel, drop your left foot behind you. Inhale, turn your hips up towards the ceiling, reach your left arm up. And exhale, look down, circle your left hand as you sit on both sitting bones. Keep twisting over to the left. Inhale, option one or two. And then exhale, look forward at your right foot. Inhale, reach the left arm up. And exhale, lean forward, crunch the belly and place the hands down. Inhale, stay or lift up, just one breath. And then exhale, sit down, catching your left foot. Inhale, stretch your left leg as much as you want. And then exhale, stay there. Try and keep your leg straight up and your right hand places it down. Inhale, keep your left leg lifted as you turn to the side, left hand down as well. And keep flexing the foot, lifting the foot, and try and drop the foot in line with your hands. From there, you square your hips, come down vertebra by vertebra as you did before. And when you drop your chest to the floor, extend your left arm out to catch the foot, and then extend your right arm out in a cross. I'm going to try and tuck my tailbone in pushing down my left inner thigh towards the floor. We stay here, pressing the chest, your inner left thigh, your chin to the floor. Two. Exhale. Three. Exhale. Four. Exhale. Five, exhale, six, and on the exhale, place your hands under the shoulders and slide your left leg back and tuck your toes. Inhale, walk your whole body forward until your ribs meet the wrist and sit, lie down. Get ready to push with the back of the toes and come up. Inhale, into upward facing dog and exhale, push into downward facing dog. Look forward and we jump or float. Inhale, go. Exhale, fold. Other side, inhale, flat back. Lengthen the left leg back and up. Exhale, bend the right knee, take a big step back, drop the left knee down. Inhale, as you untuck the toes, tuck the tailbone and reach your arms up. Arch back if you want. Exhale, hands down either side of your foot. Dig with the right heel, push it. Inhale, lengthen the spine into flat back. Exhale, optional, fold forward. Inhale, extend both arms forward. Place the hands down and press your left thigh back. Exhale, small step in to slide the right leg back and up. Bend the knee, open the hip. Inhale, lift the left heel. Spin the left heel 90 and exhale, drop your right foot and turn your hips up towards the ceiling. Inhale, extend the right arm up and exhale to arch. Inhale, follow your right hand in a circle as you sit your hips. And exhale, keep twisting and hug your thigh, option one or option two. Release, inhale, turn to face the left foot, reach the right arm up. Exhale, crunch the belly, push the tricep back and place your hands down. Inhale, lift the hips, point your left toes 
and exhale, sit back down and catch your right foot with both hands. Inhale, stay or start to straighten the leg, bending the elbows if you want to deepen it. And exhale, keep your foot lifted and let go, straightening your arms up. Turn to the left, inhale, place your left hand, point your right foot up higher. And exhale, as you place your right hand, keep stretching your right leg in line with the fingers, flex the foot. And as you place it down with the hands, in line with the hands, come down vertebra by vertebra. Inhale, extend your right arm out to catch the outer right foot. Extend the left arm. And exhale, tuck your tailbone in and down, pushing down with your pubic bone and really pushing that right inner thigh to the ground. I want you to stay here now, three breaths, six breaths, sorry. Exhale. Two. Exhale. Three. Exhale. Four. Exhale. Five. Exhale. Six. And on the exhale, place your hands under the shoulders and slide your right leg back until they're parallel. Inhale, tuck the toes, walk your chest forward, and exhale, lie your chest back down. Come up, inhale, push the top of the toes, straighten the elbows, squeeze your shoulder blades, and exhale, push into downward facing dog. Look forward, inhale, jump your feet towards your hands, and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, stand up, join your palms together, look between the thumbs. Exhale, hands in prayer in front of your chest. Inhale, extend your arms forward, lock the elbows. Exhale, hands down underneath the shoulders. So good. So we're nearing to the end of the practice now. Let me just check the time. We have about 15 minutes. So I wanna just take you through a little bit of some uh, one-legged balances. So let's take a gentle vinyasa back to downward facing dog and we can begin the vinyasa from there. Inhale, reach your arms up and look up. Exhale, fall forward, empty the breath and stretch. Inhale, flat back, lengthen. You can jump back, walk back, or float back into plank. Exhale to chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog. And then exhale, push into downward facing dog. Okay, from here, extend your right leg back and up. Keep the hips square. Look forward, lift your left heel, and then exhale, right knee to nose, crunch. Inhale, stay in a crunch, look forward between the thumbs, step it. Exhale, press your thigh, your chest against the right thigh. Inhale, as you extend your right fingers forward, lift your left foot up. If you need two blocks, go ahead and use it. Maybe coming onto the fingertips again. And then exhale, find balance by micro-bending your right knee to lift up. Inhale, can you stay here? Just one breath. And then exhale, flex the foot, swing it, don't touch the floor, and now swing it forward. Change into a point. Inhale, lift the left thigh and lift the arms up. And now balance, stay for three breaths. One, inhale. Exhale. Two, inhale, exhale, three, inhale. 
On the exhale, flex the foot, don't touch the floor, and swing it back. Inhale, hands back in prayer. And then exhale, hands back down on the floor or on the blocks. So we're gonna do this little exercise where you lengthen on the inhale, flex the foot, and as you exhale, you try and touch the block or the back of your wrist. Inhale, without touching the floor, lengthen the left leg back. Exhale, touch the block or the back of the wrist. Inhale, lengthen the left leg back, last one. Exhale, touch the block, and then bring your feet back down together. Inhale, flat back, lengthen. And then exhale, fold forward. Inhale, look forward. Get ready to jump back, press, or jump. And then exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And then exhale, push into downward facing dog. So good. Stay here, three breaths. Finding some recovery, or you can take child's pose. We're nearing the end now, two more breaths, inhale. Exhale. Three, last one. On the exhale, shift the weight into your left foot. Keep your hip square and extend your right leg back and up. Inhale, extend. Look forward and exhale, crunch, knee to nose. Stay in the crunch, look between your thumbs. Oh, sorry, we already did this leg. <laughs> Let's go back to downward facing dog. Extend your left leg back and up, inhale. And then exhale, lean forward, left knee to nose. Stay in the crunch, look between your thumbs. Inhale, step the left foot, and exhale, press your chest against the left thigh. Inhale, you extend your arms forward on the floor or on your blocks, and launch your right leg up. Exhale to find balance. Try and keep your hips square, avoid opening the hip, really squaring that right glute in line with the left. So, option one, you can stay here. Option two, you try and lift with me by micro-bending your left knee. Feel the quad harden. Join your hands in prayer. Find balance for one breath. Inhale. Flex the right foot, swing it forward without touching the floor, and lift the right leg up. Inhale, change the right foot into a point, lift the right thigh and reach both arms up. And now find balance for three breaths. One, inhale. Exhale. Two. Exhale. Three. Flex the foot, swing it back without touching the floor. Place your hands on the blocks or on the ground underneath the shoulders. Inhale, lengthen, get ready, hands nice and flat on any level. Exhale, flex the right foot and touch the block or your right wrist. Inhale, right leg back, lengthen the spine. You need to hollow the belly, crunch the abdomen and touch your toes towards the wrist or the block. Third one, inhale, lengthen, reach it back. And exhale, tap and then join your big toes together. Inhale, flat back, lengthen. And exhale, hands down to fold. Inhale, look forward, lift the heels and sit. Exhale, go back. Inhale, extend your legs forward, hollow the belly. And exhale, come down to the ground. Stay there, three breaths. Exhale. Two, inhale, exhale, three, inhale, and as you exhale, drop the shoulders down, but lift the legs. Inhale, pull the back of the neck down, tucking the chin towards the throat and reaching your arms back overhead. Inhale, lift the hips and roll the feet back and exhale, tuck the toes and stay here. Let's hold it now for six breaths. We close the practice from here in Hala. Two, let's start to change the hands. Exhale, swing your arms round in a circle 
until they point to the front of the mat. Three, start to bend the elbows, catch your lower back with your hands, and exhale, really supporting your lower back. Four, inhale, pushing your hips up. You're also rolling your chest towards the chin. Five, straighten the knees. Exhale. Six, last one. And on the exhale, stretch your arms forward to the front of the mat. Inhale, point your toes. And we're gonna come down vertebra by vertebra, but at the same time, pressing your thighs towards the chest. Try and do it slowly, inhale, without lifting the shoulders. And then exhale, bend the knees and drop your feet to the floor. Inhale, open the knees, drop them to the sides, and exhale, push your feet together. From there, turn your palms up to face the ceiling, and then gently slide each heel into the corners of the mat. Stay here now in Shavasana to close your practice. And I will invite you to stay here for at least five to 10 minutes. Meanwhile, I'm going to get up and say goodbye. So thank you so much everyone for joining me for today's live session. And for those of you joining me later on in your own time, makes me happy to receive your messages on YouTube and on Instagram. So please keep messaging me. I try and read them all in my time and um, I will get back to you. Thank you very much. I hope to see you next Tuesday in English. Otherwise, I'll see you on Thursday in Spanish. Namaste.